Jones from the Tie Dyed Iguana, and today we are going to learn how to handle our pet here, the dragons, with the help of Nina, our uh, our party beer dragon that we use for shows and uh, birthday parties. So we're going to learn how to handle both adult and uh, baby bearded dragons today. So when you go in to uh, get your pet bearded dragon, I'll uh, kind of show you how we do it. So what you'll want to do is don't go in and grab them like this. That'll scare them. They'll think that something's coming to uh, grab them, to pick them up off the ground. That's like a predator's way of grabbing them. So what you want to do is, what we do is we slide our hand under their front legs. And we slide our hands under their back legs. Carefully take them out. And you offer support to both their hips and uh, their back legs. And we also support the front legs on our other hand. And we also like, sometimes with adults, we let their bodies rest on our arms. Okay, so here we have Nina, who's kind of, um, she's kind of waving at the camera right now because she sees another bearded dragon. So she's trying to act submissive. But you'll see that one way to hold a bearded dragon is to hold them to your chest. That offers them a lot of support to their body. And uh, it's kind of weird because she's waving right now. Um, she's kind of talking to another bearded dragon. So we hold her against our chest like this. We support her back, support her, uh, <laughs> she's really waving. Uh, we support her uh, back legs, we support her, her, her back so she doesn't like fall off. We don't let her hang like that. Um, but when you first, when I first picked her up, they just, sometimes they like to go on the shoulder like that. But she's still waving at another bearded dragon. If you need to move them, you have to be careful because their claws will hook in, into your shirt. So what you do is you kind of pull forward and lift them off like that. So you can see I'm supporting her back legs, I'm supporting her front legs, and she feels very secure like that, except she wants to wave at the other bearded dragons. So she's kind of lifting her leg to do that. But another thing you can do is let them kind of lay on your arm like this. See, there we go. She's a little excited because she sees other bearded dragons around uh, the store, but otherwise, she looks pretty comfy there. She just wants to be on the move. So. so that's basically how you hold your pet bearded dragon. A lot of people do the, put them on their chest like this. Some do that, that way they feel very secure. Others will hold them in both hands. So yeah, that's, that's basically how we, uh, we hold our adult bearded dragons. So now I'm gonna show you how we put away our bearded dragon. Um, you always just drop them back in the cage. What we do is we gently set them back down like this and we just kind of let them slide out. And that's basically all there is to it as far as putting them down. No dropping whatsoever. We just gently kind of let them slide off or let them kind of walk off. So now I'm going to show you how we uh, hold a baby bearded dragon. So what we do is we basically scoop them up like this. Let's try this guy. And that's just kind of how you hold them. Uh, you hold them in your hand. Uh, you won't hold them uh, very far off the ground. They are very fragile so and they tend to jump a lot. So you want to hold them like, like this is probably a safe distance uh, off the ground. So if they jump, they won't hurt themselves. Um, with these guys, don't like grab them like this, like clench them. That'll just scare them. But if you just give them support to like their feet and everything, they'll they'll just be chill, kind of just hanging out here. So I'm not gonna take them out of his cage because I don't want them to fall on the on the on the uh, on the floor. The floor is hard. So I'll just let him go down. And what you do is just kind of let them walk off on their own. And we'll do the same for this little guy. They're kind of hyper right now because they're all nice and warm. So, yeah. 
These guys, they don't do well if you hold them to your chest. They're so tiny that they'll just end up falling off or running around. So this is the best way to handle your pet beardy. Just kind of support them, let them crawl in your hand. And if so, they'll, uh, let's see if I can, or he'll just do this. <laughs> Yeah, just hang out here. Just to put them back, you just kind of let them do that. <laughs>